So welcome to the course. All right. So again, the purpose of this course is we want to give you seven skills that um, you can use or that you'll need, you know, as you transition out of the valley or, or down from past goals, past accolades, down into the valley. We want to give you seven skills that you can actually pick up um, internalize in the valley that will assist you in walking, you know, in the the power of of, of your strength. You know, we want to help you build your resilience, help you get through the tough times, you know, and realize that hey, you know, there there will be some 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 challenges. So, um, so so before we get to that, you know, let let's first talk about you know a few of the misconceptions or the myths that you know you you hear from uh people who they say are strong or people that they say um are are, are resilient now keep in mind now now resiliency is about being tough right Res resiliency doesn't mean that there won't be challenges resiliency means that you accept the fact that you know there are some changes that you'll experience in the valley i mean some of the things that you got used to at the top of hill a they don't exist in the valley, but they don't exist for a reason. They don't exist because your goal right now is, is something new, bigger, better. So you're breaking from old things. So, so people who are resilient, they understand that there will be challenges. Struggle is a part of life, but it's about accepting those struggles, accepting that there will be challenges, accepting that sometime, you know, the prosperity you know, that, that you've been promised that sometime it may just slow down to a drip, but that's just temporary. The valley is not a permanent residence. It's a short term living arrangement. But let's talk about a few of, of the myths that are commonly associated um, with, with build, building re, uh, resiliency. So we have to understand resiliency first. Now, so, so first, being resilient does not mean that you will never be sad again, right? So, so that that's that's a myth. Um, it's a myth that you know when you become a stronger, tougher person, it's a myth that you can't feel sadness, right? Look, th this is this is real world, everyday people, everyday real world people will experience emotions. It's a part of life. So, just because you're resilient. That does not mean that you can't feel pain. That doesn't mean that you can't feel sad. That doesn't mean that, you know, you can't cry. It's a tough journey. It's a tough journey. You, you know how difficult it was getting to the top of your past mountain. Right? You, didn't, you didn't wish your way to the top of Hill A. No one wished you to the top of Hill A. It took a lot of sweat, you know, blood and tears to get you there. And now that we're focusing on something new, an entirely different mountain, look, there, there will be challenges. There will be times when you're going to feel sad, right? And that's okay. Feeling sad, feeling emotions, that is a part of the journey. So misconception number one is, or myth number one, is that resilient people um, do not you know, feel sadness, all right? So our, our myth number two is that um, that you can't take a break, right? That, you know, th this is, look, I, I understand that there is a, a hustle mentality right now where, you know, day in and day out, it's grind, grind, grind. And, you know, there's this belief that, look, if you're not grinding, you're not winning. If you're not, you know, persisting and pushing every minute of your life, then you're not going to win. And, 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 I, and, and to me, I think that for me personally, this is what we believe here at, at Bram McClendon and what we believe at um, Have View is that hustle is fine, right? We want you to be successful. We want you to win, right? But you also have to realize that, you know, the, the, the journey is supposed to be fun as well. So, so when the hustle becomes everything, when the, when the hustle it, uh, you know, just the, the, the thrill of the hustle, the thrill of the push, the thrill of the chase, when that becomes everything, then that can, that can be a little bit misguided. So, so look, <clears throat> uh, uh, being resilient does not mean that you can't take breaks. 
and celebrate some of the small wins, some of the small victories. Okay, um, you know, it's okay to take a break. You taking a break does not mean that um, that you're not resilient. So that's our myth number two. Um, myth number three is that either you're born resilient or you or you or, or, or you or you're never going to get it. All right, and and that is not true. Okay, look, your past has no ownership over your present or future self, right? So, so if you're at a position right now where, you know, you haven't been known for being the resilient type, well, that, that's not that's not your lot in life, right? Your story for the future has not been written. As a matter of fact, you're tuning into this course right now because you want to write your future story. So there are tactics, there are skills that you can pick up that you know can enhance your ability to be more resilient um, during times of, of 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 toughness, right? So so it's not one of those things where either you're born with it or not. I mean, if you if you if you didn't if, if your mama didn't give it to you, right? You can still get it, right? And that's going to be a part of this process that we'll take you through here at, at at Have View. So 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 you don't have to be born with it, all right? You can you can you can actually um, go and you know enhance those skills that can um, that that can uh, uh, I guess amplify your resilience. Um, uh, I guess the, the, another one is you know if if your your attitude right if 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 i guess this fourth one is look the, the reason why you're not resilient the reason why um you know you're 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 not you know speeding up this mountain is because of your your attitude right it's it's not all about your attitude it is environment it's it's a lot of things yes a great attitude um does uh speed up the process so it does help to have a great, great attitude, but I don't want you to think that, you know, a bad attitude alone is going to be the thing that stands in the way of, 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 of you, you know, getting to the top of your, your mountain. All right. Attitude is important, but attitude is not everything. All right. It, it is have a great attitude, but don't think that a bad attitude or, you know, feeling, you know, beat up sometimes, feeling upset sometimes that that's going to to hold you back. It's okay sometimes to feel a little bit upset. All right. Um, I think the 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 um, fifth myth is that um, that resilience uh, resilience is only beneficial in times of difficulty, and that's not true. I mean, some of the the, the benefits, some of the traits, some of the values that you know uh, resiliency will um, give uh, give you during times of difficulty. Well, they're actually five, six, ten times more valuable during times of prosperity, right? But it's, it's almost it's, it's it's like resistance training, right? I mean, if during times of difficulty, if if you're resilient and 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 you're just pushing, pushing hard, there's just no give up, no let up. You're just waking up every day, you know, and you're just you're just you you you're just not going to stop. Well, I want you to think about how that how that that resiliency will benefit you when there is no resistance, you know, when there is no weight on your back. So so I don't want you to think that, you know, the the the, the idea of being resilient is only beneficial during times of difficulty. No, 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 no. I mean, it, 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 well, it, during the times of difficulty is actually making you stronger. Right? It makes you stronger so that when the 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 the, the landscape gets a little bit uh, more clear, when when there's less weight, um, when there's less friction. Oh, man, you're running with the wind at that point. You're running with the wind versus running against the wind. So not just during times of difficulty. Um, and then here's our last myth. Right. Um, just because, you know, you. Um, you know, master or muster your resilience to the top level, that does not mean that there will, that that's going to be the end of your problems, right? I mean, th th this is life. Life will move. Life will come at you constantly. So, so re you know, resilient people will still have problems in their lives just like anyone else. The, 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 the beauty is that if you have your res resilience muscle, you know, on, on 10, 
you're going to deal with these problems in a different manner, in a much more progressive manner than someone who is not resilient. So, so those are just a couple of, of, of the myths um, of resiliency. And our next exercise, we'll talk about some of the benefits of strengthening your resilience.